and welcome to the Sports Bar on TalkSport. I'm your host, Jamie Hara, and I'm joined by Jason Cubby. Hey, has anyone seen Bakayo Saka <laughs> trying to stay on his feet? <laughs> stay on your feet, man! The Champions League is back to unbelievable games of football. Arsenal head back to Germany with it all to play for. But did Bakayo Saka cheat at the end? Do you stay on your feet? The more I see it, though, the more it does look like a pen. You can have your say, 0 3 7 one 7 4 Man City, Real Madrid. They play an absolute classic at the Bernabeu. Foden, unbelievable finish. Went off with an injury, though. Hopefully, he's okay. Haaland, by the way. But did he play? He hardly touched the ball. What's going on with him? 0 3 7 one 7 3 4 Six games in the championship as well. We'll get to them. Leicester lose to Millwall. And Leeds drop points at home to Sunderland. It's all going off at the top of the table. Get involved in the show. It's the Sports Bar. 0 3 7 one 7 3 4 Hello, mate. Hello, mate. What just happened there? You about to oh, sneeze again? I, 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 as soon as I've walked in here, I don't know what it is. It must be the air con or something. I'm, blame the like, air con, mate. Honestly, you... I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Terrible. How are you? I'm all right, mate. I'm all right. How are you? Let's, no one cares about us. Let's just talk football. Yes. Can, can I just say, honestly, we are so lucky. Two sensational games yeah, tonight. Yeah, great games of football. That's what it's all it's, about. Seriously. They, I mean, four teams just going for it. You didn't know which way it was going to end up. Either side, both in the City game and the Arsenal game, it could have gone either way. Bayern hit the post towards the end. A lot of people think Arsenal should have had a penalty right at the very end. Man City... What do you think? It's not a pen. It's not a pen. It's not a pen. Do you think he's cheated then? No, I don't think he's cheated. I'm, you, know, you know what I'm like. I'm love... OK, are we going to go there now? Do you want to go there this well, you second? you said you want to talk about it. Let's no, go there. Will. I didn't talk about City yet. Well, don't worry about City. I want to ask you now because I know uh, you, you, were, you were... Instantly, you said... No pen. No pen. And the reason it's not a pen is he should stay on his feet. And here's the thing how I see Bakaya Saka. Bakaya Saka is one of the most foul players in the league, right? And here's what they do, and I feel for him. Grealish does the same. Eden Hazard used the same. I used to watch Eden Hazard do it. Because they get fouled so often, one of, their, one of the first instincts are... Go down. If I feel contact, I'll go kind of half looking for it, Right. And they do it well. Grealish does it well. It's not, I don't, it's not cheating. It's gaining an advantage in a situation. You never do it when you go around the goalkeeper. I don't know what Saka's doing. I've got no idea what he's thinking. He can stay on his feet. There is no reason for it to go down. He's initiated the contact. It's not a penalty. Yeah. And the reason Arsenal go in only at 2-2 is because of Bakar Saka. He should stay on his feet. He can hurdle that challenge. He doesn't go, he need to go near it. He doesn't even need to go near it. No, he's, he doesn't. He just skips around he's, him. He's, he's initiated the contact. The referee spotted it. Never a penalty. Arsenal fans can say what they want. But you have a look at it. Look at his motion. Look at his leg. Look what he's doing. And move the leg. When players want to stay on their feet, mate. I watched Maradona when I grew up, right? There are moments when he can hurdle players for fun. For fun. When there was a moment he decided to go down, he'll go down. And Bakaya Saka will learn that. That is a lack of experience from him. He's a brilliant player. The most foul player probably in the league one of. But what if what if, what happened today was he needs to know and learn when to wait for contact, when to hurdle a challenge, and when to go looking for it. And tonight, he got it wrong. That's I mean, my take on it. That's I know take it's your take. And when I, when I watched it at first, I was like, mm, you know, it's Saka, it goes down easy. The more I watch it, Jason, I'm, we've got the screens up there, the more I watch it... Mm. Noah does go, he, he leans towards the ball, he leans, to, he sticks his leg in, he looks guilty when Saka goes down. Very guilty when he goes down. Yeah, because you worry, because because he knows there's contact. You know, we, you, you look at that, and there's lots of people who look at that first impressions and go, pen, because it's easy. Look, look at the whole dynamics of it. Saka does this a lot, and I don't blame him, because he's fouled so many times, and there's a time to leave your foot, as a time to hurdle a challenge. Yeah. And the, the best players will make the best decisions. He's young. If he does that in the in the Euros for England, we win a penalty. I'll be all over him. I'll be congratulated. But if he does that and doesn't get the pen, as an England fan, stay on your feet, put the ball in the back of the net. He could have done that. Okay, he let's go. Done that. Let's go to Anthony, who is an Arsenal fan. Anthony. <laughs> uh, I've just been listening to that, Jason. And, well, li even hearing from Rio Ferdinand and Martin Keown, they're saying it's a penalty. I don't care what they all say. Day long. I couldn't care. I couldn't care what they say. They're it's wrong, in my opinion. It's a penalty all day long. It's not. Even, 
Rifton Gibbs. And for even the next Tottenham player to say that it, the more and more he watches it, it looks like a penalty, says it all. Well, I say it's not, Anthony. Now, now aside from that, and I'm not saying this because of the hatred for him, Harry Kane should have been sent off tonight. For what, the elbow? The elbow mm. on Gabriel. Mm. Now he's looked, now he's looked, if you look at it, he's looked, saw, saw where Gabriel is, and then he swung his arm no, round. No, he didn't. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't Anthony. He didn't swing his arm. He was. He, he knew it's where. A red it's not. It's not, mate. It's not. It's not. Okay. Okay. Go back. Going back to the penalty, then. The referee is originally not. not, so we not it. What are you why doing? You got to swip flip flop between the pair of until you. Well, VAR must Why have looked the at it. They must have, well, they must have. Because it's not a penalty, Anthony. They've obviously looked at it and said no pen. They must have looked at it. It's there. It would have gone to a VAR. It's a big decision. And they must have looked at it and said no pen. Saka's left his foot in. That's that's the only reason when you look at it and you can say, no, nope, he could have stayed on his feet. Right. And, and in these circumstances, right, okay, I'll take your point. Stay on your feet. So if that's the case and it's not a penalty, why is he not booked for diving? Because it's not a dive. But if it's not a penalty, then it's a dive, surely. No, it's not. You don't... No. Why Why has it got to be one or the other? There is contact. We see the contact. The contact is initiated by Saka. He's made sure there is contact. It's not a dive. A dive is where there's no contact. Well, we're, we're going to have to agree to disagree, but... Do you want to go back to the Kane situation? Should <laughs> we go back to the Kane one? See, I mean, look, get a red card for Kane look, now. Look, Anthony, there's obviously going to be a lot of Arsenal fans phoning up thinking they've got robbed. And look, the more I watch it, the, the more I look at it and go... <sighs> the, the, the fact that Manuel Neuer, he, he moves his leg towards the ball when Saka moves the ball, that means that he's, he's made a... a an, he's tried to, you know, a, he's a, an attempt to get the ball. And that's where I look at it and go... If you've made an attempt to get the ball and Saka hasn't just run into you, then there you can. There's your argument for a penalty. So yeah, I mean, in that argument, with, you can say yes. But you, you've got. I, I was, think I was, all I was, Arsenal. I was, fa- sitting with a, I, was, I was sitting with a Spurs fan watching the game, and he said it's a penalty. I don't care who you sat with, right? <laughs> and it doesn't matter, right? No, I don't know what that makes. It makes no difference. You could have been sat next to Ange Postacoglu. Doesn't matter, right? You ask yourself this question. Every Arsenal fan listening to this. Could Saka have stayed in his feet and scored the goal? Could he have done that? Could he have tried? Don't know. You're not going to know, are you? Mm. Well, I think I do know. I think you know as well. Mm. Uh, Anthony, look, obviously it was a, a brilliant game. Harry Kane obviously put him in front. You got back into it second half. Good substitutions from Arteta. You fancy chances going to Bayern? I think we have to. I don't see any reason why not. I think our form this season has been... Remarkable. I, I can't see any reason why we can't go there next week um, uh, and get the job done. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.